Hi YouTube, um, I took some frog spawn out of my pond and uh, I thought I would show you how it progresses. So I've just kept it in this um, shallow tray of water. This is a good way to keep frog spawn. Um, it just keeps the water oxygenated if it's really shallow. So you can see how all the eggs are looking on this first day. Um, all the black parts of the eggs are round. Okay, this is day two, and the eggs have started to elongate a little bit. And the next day, the eggs are even more sort of comma-shaped. It's worth mentioning that I'm keeping these in my reptile room, which is fairly warm. Um, that may be one reason why they're developing so quickly. Okay, at day four, we've got tadpoles breaking away uh, from the jelly of the eggs. Um, it's worth mentioning that they are very still at this time. They don't swim about or anything. They just sort of come out of the eggs and just sort of hang there. On day five, there are a lot more doing the same sort of thing. Um, if you compare this photo to the last one, uh, you'll see there's a lot more hanging around the outside on the uh, jelly of the eggs. Can you see that the um, tadpoles that have hatched first are from the eggs that were on the outside edges of the frog spawn. Um, if you think about it, these are the ones that are going to be getting the most oxygen from the water, so they tend to develop faster. The eggs in the middle take a bit longer to hatch out. On day six, quite a few of the tadpoles have moved away from the main clump of frog spawn, um, and you can see a lot of them will hang around the edges, um, or they'll sink to the bottom but they really don't move much at all. They just sort of stay in one position for a lot of the time. Okay, so at this warmer room temperature, it was around about day seven that we started to get uh, sort of free swimming tadpoles, uh, recognizable as tadpoles. And these have all got gills. You can just make out these kind of feathery gills at either side of their heads. Um, I didn't bother counting them, obviously, but I think there's probably at least two or three hundred in here. Um, so it's amazing to think in the wild, out of this whole lot, only um, sort of two or three of them survive to become adult frogs and go on to breed again themselves. OK, this is literally a couple of days later, and you can see the gills have absorbed into the heads of the tadpoles, and what you've got is... Uh, tadpoles that look even more kind of familiar, uh, the obvious kind of tadpole shape. And they're much more active now, swimming about and eating little bits of algae and things from in the water. Yeah, up to this point, you don't really have to feed them anything. If you've got a bit of pondweed in with them, um, they'll find bits and pieces they can eat off the pondweed. Um, but around about this sort of size is the time to start thinking about feeding them. So some people will boil um, lettuce uh, to give them initially. Um, I don't do that. I go straight in with um, fish food. But I'll show you that in a second. And I'll show you how I go about preparing it as well. Yeah, I just think oh so often it's quite important to um, help our native UK um, amphibians. Because... Amphibians are having quite a hard time at the moment. Um, a lot of them are um, declining rapidly. There's a, a fungus out there that affects amphibians called a chytrid fungus. Um, I think originally it was kind of brought in maybe with um, African clawed frogs, um, Xenopus, that were sort of kept in labs and things. Um, and it's got into kind of wild populations. So any help we can give tadpoles rearing them up and releasing them into the wild is a good thing. Right, here's some fish food. Um, you can see what I do here is um, it's dry when you get it. This is actually, it's not the stuff that's in the tub, I just store it in there. Um, this stuff is for koi carp. I think it's used for like baby koi carp. So look, what I do is I put some in the tub I just put a tiny bit of um, water in with it. Not much, just a little tiny bit. Um, because if you put the the um, little tiny pellets straight in the water, they just float on the surface. Um, so here you can see I just mix it in with a spoon and this turns it into a paste. And then I just kind of scoop it all up. Um, let the water sort of absorb into it a little bit. And once it's a paste, you can just grab a bit on the spoon and you can move it and drop it 
um, down into one corner of the um, of the dish. There you go. You can see like it's really soggy now. It's like a little paste. And it doesn't take long for it to do that. You don't have to even use warm water or anything. Incidentally, this is all um, spring water. I just use water that has been bought, like bottled water. Never use tap water because you'll kill your tadpoles really quickly. So yeah, just drop it in here. And you'll see very quickly the tadpoles will start smelling it. Um, so the first few smell it almost instantly that are close to it. Uh, but literally within about a minute, like tadpoles from the other side of the dish will smell it as well. Um, they're very sensitive to this and they'll start swarming around it a lot quicker than you think. Um, so in a minute I'll show you another video where they're all much more gathered around it. Uh, this is actually another feeding um, occasion because you can tell because it's a different dish with a little chip out of the corner. Um, and also look how clean it is compared to the last one. Um, they've had a good clean out since then. So the way I clean them out is I um, take all the weed out and I just tip them very gently into a sieve to drain all the water away. And I just rinse them with a bit of spring water, refill the dish with clean spring water and very gently tip the tadpoles back into it. OK, I decided not to rear up all of these this year. Um, this is some footage from a previous year with, you can see a froglet here with the tail almost fully absorbed, ready for life on land, uh, and a, another tadpole with the back legs there. Um, I thought because I had this bit of footage I could show you a little froglet. So all the tadpoles I've released back into the pond and I'll let them do their own thing instead. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.